if knowledge is a painting, then UT is that palette with a huge number of colors that all come together. In computer science in particular, it's been one of the leading schools for decades now. The University of Texas has always been one of the leaders in artificial intelligence. Robotics is something that's really grown in recent times. And then really in the last few years, with heavy investment from the university, has really put us at the forefront, really worldwide, in robotics and artificial intelligence research. What's happening now is really this collective, collaborative spirit. Even something as simple as all gathering together in the same building is really forcing those day-to-day -day collaborations that you really need when you're working on real physical systems. The quality of the students, the quality of the faculty, the toys and the facilities and resources that we have at our fingertips to be able to get stuff done, I never found that anywhere else. UT is a really exciting place to do AI research right now. We have a lot of fantastic faculty doing AI work. We have the Texas Advanced Computing Center, a supercomputer. It's just a perfect environment for expanding what we can do with artificial intelligence. I think what's exciting about being at UT is not just the size of UT, but not everyone knows that we have 40 top 10 departments including a top 10 department in artificial intelligence, computer science, computer engineering, applied math. And these are all the disciplines you need to build a world-class machine learning program. A big part of what my lab is researching is the machine learning and AI algorithms that robots need in order to be responsive and dynamic to people and what they need. And then we're building service robots that are working side by side with nurses in hospitals. And so the same kinds of things that we were looking at in our labs and UT are now having an impact on healthcare and hospitals and making sure that nurses are spending more time with patients because robots are now fetching and delivering some of the supplies that they need. Here in the nuclear robotics group, a lot of our goal is to really remove operators from hazardous environments, nuclear, oil and gas, refineries, the front line, and the opportunity that we can take these robots and remote systems that go in and do the dangerous jobs that we don't want humans to do, that's really our goal. One of my roles here at the University of Texas is the director of the Robotic Center of Excellence, which is the key mechanism to allow multiple faculty on campus to interact with the Army Futures Command. The Army Futures Command's goal is to remove soldiers from harm's way through the use of remote systems and automation. And we see real opportunities in terms of improved AI, in terms of better situational awareness, in terms of better autonomy to help the Army Futures Command meet its mission. My research about human-centered robotics encompasses various areas that are very important for our societies. One of them is caregiving for our elderly populations, not only by doing the, the chores that are needed in a day-to-day -day basis, but also for augmenting our physical capabilities. So the ability of maintaining physical and monitoring capability in houses that can not only help in the home, but then go take the elevator, go downstairs, go to the grocery, bring them back. We're, we're just closer to this reality that I think is fundamental. My work tries to use AI to understand how our brains process language. So we scan people's brains and then use modern ML and AI techniques to build models of how our brains do this. My research is in coming up with the algorithms that people use to build these highly complicated predictive models. I think one of the great achievements for machine learning tools is drug design. Imagine that you can figure out the right way to build a drug just by running a computer program and that you can get through thousands, millions of different combinations very quickly and predict with high accuracy which one is going to work without doing an expensive experiment. We've already seen great successes in coming up with vaccines and therapeutics using tools from machine learning for COVID. I'm really excited that the university is focused on programs like the Good Systems work, where we're thinking about privacy, we're thinking about how to make sure that we're building AI and robotics for good. What really benefits us here is not just access to what's happening at UT Austin, but also the broader community and ecosystem of AI and computing in Austin. It's just a wonderful world of computing and AI. Two exciting things have happened at UT. First, we were awarded a National AI Institute for the Foundations of Machine Learning, and also we launched the Machine Learning Lab, which is going to be the home of this new National AI Institute. And the Machine Learning Lab is going to be 
the headquarters for all machine learning research on campus. We've been incredibly lucky to get a gift from Amir and Zeb Hussein to launch the machine learning lab. Amir is the CEO and founder of Spark Cognition, which is an AI company here in Austin. For the longest time, the reputation of UT Computer Science in, in theoretical CS has been incredibly strong. In some sense, the innovation in AI has now caught up with a lot of that theory. And now applications in the real world, compute in the real world, infrastructure in the real world has caught up with that. To me, it's an exciting time because now we get to see physical manifestations of all the phenomenal work that has been going on at UT over the last several decades. And I personally feel that the machine learning lab will take this so much further because it will allow students not just from Texas and not just the colleges and departments of UT Austin, but indeed the best minds in AI and beyond from across the globe to work together on solutions to problems that, that are facing our planet. Now with Austin being one of the hottest cities in the U.S., the fact that UT is really what is the seed of Austin. And when you see Austin succeed, in many ways, that's because of the colors of UT.